Vitamin D, we gotta talk about it. It's too important. And I have done videos quoting many studies here. I've got a lot more for you to understand about vitamin D. I will put all the studies and all the links to those of you that are science hounds in the notes to this video. But I feel like this is one of those videos we gotta roll up our sleeves and we gotta have a serious talk because so many of you are low in vitamin D. And it, vitamin D, hopefully you know, is not only supportive of the immune system, but you need need it for hormonal production. In fact, vitamin D is not even considered a vitamin, it's a hormone. And it's in charge of a thousand different processes in your body. So let's go back to your chemistry class when you were in high school. Think about when you were putting different chemicals together to create a reaction. You had to pull in lots of different pieces to get this chemical reaction to happen. Well, vitamin D is necessary for a thousand of these chemical reactions. It's important for hormonal production, especially estrogen and testosterone. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. It's massively important for the immune system. We just, I just touched on that. I wanna dive into that because we're, that's a really important one for, and I wanna give you ranges here. It's important for cognitive, cognitive function. So for you to be able to think clearly, for my menopausal women that are losing estrogen and therefore you're losing BDNF, your vitamin D levels become so important. We know that depression is more common for people with low vitamin D. So we gotta get this right. This, that's how important this is. So I wanna walk you through this so you can make smart choices and you can understand your lab work and how to bring your vitamin D levels up. First, vitamin D is essential. That means that your body doesn't just naturally make it on its own. You're gonna have to find ways to stimulate it. And what's really interesting is that the best way to stimulate it is the sun. And that becomes a massive problem because so many of us are staying out of the sun because we're worried about sun cancer, or skin cancer or we're staying out of the sun because we don't want to aging skin. So we're gonna have to find some other ways and I'm gonna talk about those ways here in a moment to bring those vitamin D levels up. The second challenge, and and concept that I want you to understand around vitamin D being essential is that 92%, and this was a study done on Americans, 92% of Americans spend most of their day in, indoors. I mean, I, I can tell you, I really consciously remind myself to get out and walk, get out, even if I put like a hat on, just get out into the sun so that I'm getting that sun exposure. Your skin has to be exposed in order for the sun to come in and start to convert uh, the, the light, the UV UV light into vitamin D. The other challenge we have is so many people are putting sunscreen on. And sunscreen, many of the sunscreens will block the vitamin D production that you can get from, from the sun. So we got, a, we got a really big problem and we have a dilemma and we got to figure out, do we supplement? How can we bring it in in foods if we're not going outside? So I want to walk through some ideas for you on how to think about supplementation because that's tricky too. And, the, and that, you know, this is not one of those videos where I can just say, you need more vitamin D, take this supplement. What I'm trying to do is walk you through a process so that you make the best choice for you. Because we all live different lives, we all have different bodies, even though they're human, we all have different microbes, we all, our hormonal levels are all different. So I'm here to help you make smart decisions for you. So with that in mind, I do wanna take a little bit of a detour here on hormones because that's my passion. And my passion is teaching you all how to build life lifestyles, proper balanced hormonal production in your body. And we can't leave vitamin D out of that out of that conversation. So there are two hormones in particular that vitamin D will help you make. One is estrogen. Okay, for my menopausal women, I, like we gotta do everything we can to make estrogen. So this is women over 40. So if your vitamin D level is low, the, the experts are saying for hormonal production, we want that vitamin D level to be up around 70 in order to be able to make estrogen estrogen, and I'm gonna talk about one other hormone here in a second, we've gotta have high vitamin D levels. So if I if I put this in terms of like a, a menopausal woman who is just trying to keep age appropriate hormones up, we have so much discussion in the culture right now about HRT and bioidenticals and bringing those back in. And I think there's room for, for 
those therapy, those treatments for many of us. But it doesn't mean you get a free pass by just putting a patch on. You've also got to look at what's going to raise estrogen naturally, and that is vitamin D. So don't forget that if you're trying to bring your estrogen up for better cognition, better mood, the, the skin, um, all the things that, that tend to go away when estrogen goes away, don't let vitamin D go away. The second hormone that vitamin D makes is testosterone. Now this is for both men and women. So let's go, let's dive into testosterone for a moment. So we have done literally in my online community, tens of thousands of Dutch tests. And most of them have been done over 40 year old women. We do a lot of Dutch tests on men, by the way, I highly recommend it. Um, and there are some patterns that we have seen in this large of a sample size. And one of those patterns is how low women over 40 are in testosterone. There's only two things that will deplete your testosterone stores. Well, two major things. Um, one is stress. So when cortisol goes up, you require more DHEA to make that cortisol with a lack of DHEA then you're gonna get a lack of, of testosterone and progesterone. So stress kills testosterone in menopausal women. It will kill, stress will kill testosterone in men as well. So we've gotta work on making sure that we're bringing up or, or have tools for, for stress. Second thing about vitamin, about testosterone that tanks with testosterone is vitamin D. So there's so much, I've been, I've been on some really interesting podcasts recently. Um, in fact, I go check out the podcast that I did on the School of Greatness with Lewis House. He and I dove right into testosterone and looked at it from as many angles as possible. And he was telling me how so many of his friends are taking testosterone injections and pellets. I know a lot of women are doing that as well. But it, before we go into some of those extremes, why aren't we asking if our vitamin D level is high enough? We got to have the chemi chemical reaction to be able to make testosterone in the first place. So for hormonal production, we want it up around 70. For immune system, we want to make sure that our vitamin D levels are somewhere around 50. There was some really interesting research that came out ar around COVID that showed that when people who uh, caught COVID, if their vitamin D levels were really low, like under 20, their symptoms were much worse and so bad that they actually were doing IV drips of vitamin D in the ICU to bring that up so that the body could be able to have the proper immune force to fight COVID. So you want it around 50 for better immune response. You run it around 70 for better hormonal response. With that in mind, what are our options for bringing vitamin D up? Well, of course, the first is the sun. So, you know, can you get out with skin exposed um, as many times throughout the day as much as possible? Um, you're going to have to make the right choice of what feels right for you, um, but you got to have that skin exposed to be able to get take in the conversion of the UV light into vitamin D. Your second option is th through food. So sardines, sardines and those really fatty fish, cod liver. Um, we're going to talk about cod liver oil right now. So we also know that other fish like mackerel is, is a really good oily fish and you can get a lot of vitamin D there. Um, I've shared with you before that I was spent some time in Norway this year and um, everybody there because of the lack of light is very aware that they need to be supplementing with vitamin D and they, and a lot of the the menu at the restaurants we were at and homes we stayed at there was tons of fatty fish as as a possible choice and largely because a it's coming out of their waters but also they really have a focus on vitamin d which is so interesting because we all should have a focus on vitamin d whether we get full light throughout the day or not but in in a part of the world where light is really scarce they are doubling down on supplementation and fatty fish. Okay, check this out. I have a free fasting guide for you all. It's free and it's gonna teach you all the basics of fasting. It's gonna teach you how to kill hunger when you fast, which is really cool. And it's gonna show you how to break your fast among many other things. All you gotta do is click on this link right here and enjoy. So that leads me to the, my third way that you can bring your vitamin D levels up and that's through supplementation. Now this one's a little tricky. So I, I wanna read a couple of things for you here and make this as simple as possible. So one of the problems with supplementing with vitamin D is that when you take in UV light and you, and you convert it into a usable form of vitamin D, it's called 25-hydroxy vitamin 
vitamin D3. So when you go to take a supplement, you want one that is 25 hydroxy vitamin D3. You want a D3. Let's, let's just keep it simple. That way you are getting what would have been happening if you were getting sun and converting it into vitamin D. But what most vitamin D supplements do is they use a form called cholecalciferol. And what this, it's great for bringing your lev levels of vitamin D up, but it gets stored in your organs and that can start to become problematic. So one of the, if you don't know what type of vitamin D you are taking, then I highly recommend that you get a regular vitamin D test. They're so easy to get. Your doctor should give them to you. Many, I know here in America, a lot of the labs you can run on your own. I would be running vitamin D tests at least once or twice a year, especially as you come out of winter to be able to see where your vitamin D levels are. And then once, if you're doing the supplementation route, one of the things you can do is you can look and see if your supplements are working working for you. Um, I, and just, you know, I'll leave some links, um, to some of my favorite vitamin D products that we have actually tested, um, on uh, pre and post tests that we know work well for the patients that we've worked with. But again, I'm here on this video to help you make smart choices for you. So just make sure you're checking regularly, make sure you're getting D3. I also know that if you add a little bit of K to it, um, vitamin K, that really enhances the body's ability to absorb it. But one of the things I wanna encourage you to look at you're gonna either love this or not love this, so you tell me in the notes, is that one of the best options for vitamin D is cod liver oil. So it's the old grandma trick, right? How many years ago was grandma like, drink your cod liver oil when you're not feeling well? Now, if, you're, if you can't stomach that, I understand you can try to get them in, in um, little capsules, but they're really important. It's a really efficient way to get the correct vitamin D into your body. I personally love that because I feel like I always wanna give you the best solution food. So um, I also, when I go out to eat, if cod is on the, on the menu, I'll order cod. It's not because I love the taste all the time, but I'm always trying to bring in. Same thing with mackerel. I, I've been adding sardines in as well. Um, so sometimes you do things because they're good for you. They may not be like the biggest like dopamine rush you ever had when it comes to taste. But if you can think about doing cod liver oil, you're gonna, you're gonna get yourself um, a really good version of vitamin D. The other interesting one, an organ meat one is beef liver. So beef liver, when you, and you can do it through a lot, there's a lot of like um, companies now that have organ meat that has been freeze dried. Um, I know again, Paleo Valley is one of the ones that we have, we have seen their organ meats. It's one that I take on a regular basis. So you could try um, going with a free, freeze dried organ meat supplement as well, which will, would be great for your organs, but then you're also getting more vitamin D. We got to be careful with vitamin D. We got to know the range. So know what you're shooting for. We got to really be mindful that, that this is a hormone. It's incredibly important. We have to be careful to, to not over supplement because if we get too much of the wrong supplement, all that vitamin D is gonna be stored in our tissues in a bad way. Um, so we wanna use the right supplementation, we wanna get out into the sun, we wanna lean into some of the foods, and we wanna check regularly. It's that important. There are a lot of videos I've done here on, on my YouTube channel, and, and some of them, I, when I build them out and I look at them and I, I give them to you, I'm like, this is life-saving information. This is one of those videos. This is life-saving. And the next time any kind of crazy virus comes around the world, you're also gonna be protected because your immune system will be so strong. So it's that important. Okay, vitamin D. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, put it in, in, the, in the comments. If you have any great ways for, to mask the taste of cod liver oil, or you have any good sardine or mackerel recipes, we are a community here on YouTube. So put it in the comments and share it with us. Um, and as always, just take this information and apply it to your life in whatever way feels right. But I, you, I hope you know that all the information I'm giving you is geared towards turning on your own inner healing power because you were born in a miracle. Your body knows how to make hormones. It knows how to fight infections, and it, but it needs vitamin D. So make sure you're giving it. As always, I hope that helps. I don't want you to waste money on supplements. Your body's a miracle, 
buy the right ones, sometimes you don't buy them at all, check out this video so you don't waste money on your supplement. When we do the same probiotic over and over and over again, what we're doing is we're creating a monoculture in our gut. 